Hello everyone, Ninkang here. Today we're gonna talk about the assembly of the servo motor of the RX-1 humanoid robot. So by the end of the video, you should be able to build something like this. Okay, so these are all the parts you need to assemble one joint. Uh, there are roughly three sections. On my left hand side, we got all the side light gears and uh, in the middle we have all the parts for the ring gear and on my right hand side we got the sun gear and the stock motor itself so we're gonna do them one by one and in the end we're gonna put the details of today's assembly i want to thank today's sponsor pcb way so pcb way not only do pcb apparently you can also do 3d prints with them you can just upload your file select the material you want and uh, then submit it Usually, you should be able to get that within a week. And here are some parts that I received the other day. Very nicely packaged and all the parts are labeled with the part number. And this time I tried two material and one of them is regular PLA which looks pretty nice. And uh, also I tried the SLS printing with the nylon material which is extremely good and sturdy. Okay, back to the tutorial. Step one is the assembly for the side light gears. So first what I'm gonna do is to put all these small bearings in the side light gear and then I'm gonna put that in the base of the side light gear and put them together. Okay, in the final step, what do you need to Notice here is that I first I put the washers here and then I put on the top of the side lid gear and don't forget to put the, on this bearing as well. In the end, what's most important here is to make sure that all the side lid gear can still rotate after the assembly. Step 2 is about the ring gear assembly. There are only three parts here. What you need to do is push the bearing into the housing and you may need some tools to help you hammer that in properly. Okay, step three, sun gear and servo assembly. Nothing much to talk about here, just to make sure you follow all the steps and put everything together. Okay, now we got all the parts here, let's put them together. Okay, so the final step is to test the servo motor. So first what you do is to connect your motor with the control board and uh, you gotta give it power, 12 watt here. It can come from battery or DC power supply or whatever you want. And on the other end, you got a USB here that's got into your uh, PC. So what I'm using here is the software that comes from Fitech. So what I would do is to open the port and uh, search for my motor and there we go and then I can control the motor again please subscribe to redrabbitrobotics.cc for the latest instructions and tutorials of the assembly of the robot